G'day guys, welcome to Scotch Down Under. I'm Ken. I'm Scott. And I'm the Gibble. And what are we having today, guys? Um, well, obviously. It's right there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, today we're having the Glen Aliki 12 year old from Space Aid. Glen Aliki 12 is one of the standard releases from Glen Aliki, and this is their base one. And it is, along with all their other releases, non chill filtered and non coloured. Non -coloured. Every single one. So that's a Other than the cast strength, they are all bottled between 46 and 48%. Mm. Yeah. So, so they don't believe in doing things lightly. No. Consistency is key. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. They're not mucking around. The Glen Alica Distillery was originally established in 1967. So they're only a young distillery. Yeah. Like, in the grander scheme of things. Very young. And they changed hands quite a few times. <laughs> I think it was kind of a uh, hot potato. Like, yep, you have it. Nope, we don't want it. No, shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it got mothballed a couple of times. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, and then... Shivers on it. Was actually, it was actually... Well, no. Before Pernod Ricard, i.e. Shivers, bought it, it was actually decommissioned a couple of years earlier. So, And then they bought it in the... 89, I think it was, mm -hmm. and recommenced production. And when it was with Shivers, it was in Campbell Blend or something? The Clan Campbell, yeah. Yeah, that one. Mm. The Clan Campbell Blend. Yeah. And then in 2017? Yeah, 2017. 2017? Yeah, same thing. <laughs> <laughs> She's just trying to confuse me now because I'm actually thinking. Oh, okay. Um, so hurt? yeah, uh, <laughs> Billy Walker, who is the master distiller, and, and a, a group of other guys banded together, formed the Glen Allerkey Consortium, yep, and bought it, yep, from Shivers Regal. Means it's one of only a handful of fully Scottish independent owned Scottish distillers. Yeah. Well, whether they're full Scottish ownership or not, I mean they're still independently owned because they're not owned by. Perno, Diageo. No, they're full only like Scottish owned. Yeah, there's, yeah. There's the three of them in the consortium and they own Glen Alicky. Yeah. Yeah. And Billy Walker has been turning this distillery around and producing some pretty amazing stuff and they're doing a lot of experimentation. They've just bought out a whole pile of cast strength releases. They've just released a rye finish. Um, and they've got a bunch of other stuff in the works that's coming out. Pretty exciting stuff that's coming out from these guys. I love it when they do different stuff. Yeah. Mm. Have you guys tried this? Any of the Glen Alicky stuff before? Uh, I think so. <laughs> what are you looking at me like that for? <laughs> <laughs> I think so. What about you? <laughs> no, no, no. I wasn't looking at you. I think, I think I I've think given you a, a blind nip tasting of it once, I think. Oh, yeah, the yeah. blind tasting. Yeah, yeah, I stuck some of that in there. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yes. So you guys have sampled this before. Um, and they only just bought out, I think it was last year they bought out the 15, oh. which I have a bottle right here, which we'll review oh, cool. yeah. <laughs> later on. But I, yeah, I've been interested, I want to get some of the cast strengths, I've heard really good things about the cast you know, the, the The 15 is part of the uh, special... Standard release? No. Yeah, it is now. No, they, well, might be now, but It yeah. is now, yeah. Yeah, the, I, I thought the core range was the 12, the 18, and the 25, and the... Originally, yes. 10 year old cast strength, the 15 has now been added to the core range. Yes. Awesome. Yep. Mm. Even better. I love this labelling. Uh, on their website, they've actually got a cool little thing about this actual design of the lettering on the, the name. And the guy actually hand carved it out of this really nice stone. It's pretty cool. Um, and it's lovely textured and the whole thing looks like that marble kind of stuff that he's using. I really like it. It's really shiny. Like oh. Yeah. It's mm. so... Classy. It is a, a gorgeous looking box. Billy Walker right down there, master distiller of course. Um, yeah, absolutely awesome. And the bottle itself, I really like the shape. I do have the non fully Audi tabby thingy. Some distilleries do. Non fully That's, that's the very technical, technical term. Mate. Yep, it's a the non fully out <laughs> flappy thing. Yep, that's the technical term for that. Um, I do like their bottle shapes. They're the more fat and stumpy looking one. The can of the bottle. Work. 
Yeah. <laughs> Short and compact. <laughs> Packs a bit of a punch. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, yeah, and they're not going with a normal square on their label either, so they've actually rounded it and then put the... Yeah, I reckon that's a nice bottle. What do you reckon? I reckon it's a good bottle. This yeah. is the first time I've said something this episode that wasn't an insult. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a good looking bottle. I like yeah. Scotty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, a lot of embossing on here. Like, embossed on all of this Glen Alicky part, the 12 year olds all embossed. Yep. Good looking packaging all around, I reckon. It's got a nice well as well, so you can yeah. bottle it quite, yep. quite firmly without dropping it. So you can do the presentation. Would you like some Glen Alicky 12, sir? Oh, yes. <laughs> do the fancy one with one hand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You did do that fancy one with one hand with a quality whiskey, but we're going to have an issue. Yeah, that's why I was like, I'm hanging on to this firmly. The gravity <laughs> is going with me. <laughs> Not against Just need to trust in yourselves more. <laughs> Not when it comes to whiskey. Alright boys, shall we stick our nose in this glass and see Don't what we've got? Don't mind do. Yeah. Did you just go to cheers them for a nosing? <laughs> I think you did. <laughs> it's been a long week. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you definitely get the sherry cast coming straight through, all those fruits. You do get a lot of fruit on it, yeah. Yeah, yeah fruit. There's a, a little bit of sort of zesty rind on the on the back of it. Yep, bit of citrusy rind. What percentage is it? 46. 46. So you can still 46. stick your nose oh, yeah. right into it. Mm. Mm. Yes, those, those characteristic sun dried tomatoes. Tomatoes? <laughs> <laughs> Can't even fruits. stick my own Sun inside dried jokes. grapes. <laughs> even I remember. <laughs> uh. Alright, let's try that again. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> tomatoes. <laughs> <laughs> tomatoes. Oh dear. Mm. Actually, I don't actually get raisins that much. You don't get raisins and. You get a little bit of cherry on it. It's more more citrusy than mm. than sultana and raisin. Yeah. yeah, for me. More fresh than sun. So it's it reminds me of like the fruit cake that's got a lot of zest in it. Yeah. Mm. So not like a real deep dark fruit fruit cake, but one that's got a lot of rind and light and mm, fresh and zest. And stuff. <coughs> yeah. But there's like a lemon zest cake, lemon poppy seed cake. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Well, enough of that. I'm gonna go in there. I just can't eat it. I'll go straight to the face. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't going to choose you. But there's there's something else on the on the nose there. It's 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 almost creamy on the nose. Mm. Custody? Yes. I haven't even had a taste yet. No, I know. I, know, yeah. I would definitely go custard. One thing I realised is we stopped looking at colour. <laughs> oh yeah, this is non-chill filtered, so yeah, yeah. We, and uncoloured, so we can definitely look at the colour. So it's a, it's quite light golden. Yeah, Very typical pink. light goldy straw. Ooh. Yeah, you yeah, definitely get that like ABV that. punch on that first sip. I got it right at the end, but very, very subtly. Yeah, I'm you, the same. Usually I get kicked in the teeth, but like mm. nothing on this. It's no, no, I had it like like you right at the end, mm. and then it, it fell off really quick, and then mm. went into that nice, smooth. Shouldn't say smooth, but it was a smoothish finish. Smooth, yeah. This is quite tasty. It is, isn't it? Mm. Again, there's that almost, almost creamy sweetness to it. Mm. 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 Really pleasant. It's yeah, it's nice and round and full in the mouthfeel. Yeah, not as there. sweet and creamy as the as the finish on that pokes, but there still is that element of the of the of a vanilla custard on the tail. It's very soft, mm -hmm. but it's beautiful. Yep, and it's interesting you picked up Gus because. It is interesting that you picked up custard because I did read that in one of the descriptions. I think it was in the book. They did say custard. Oh, okay. Mm. So, 
See, I just read the stuff about the distillery. I don't. I did too. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I did see the. I do test. generally try and avoid tasting notes before Same. I try oh, something yeah. for the first time. Yep. Mm. After a couple of sips, I'll pick up the box and have a read and see how far off I was. But yeah, uh, yeah, most absolutely. of the time, they're just guidelines anyway. It's what your taste buds will probably not line up to the expert that they've got tasting that to write that for. It's very but individual. The, Plus, there's a bit one, of One cavity. thing I, mm. I do find with the tasting notes, though, is at times where there's that something that you're searching for and you can't quite identify, mm. it clarifies it for you. Yeah. Mm. Like, I'm getting a little bit of custard tart. Mmm. Very much. Mm. Yeah, more more of a custard tart with that little bit of spice on top. A little bit of cinnamon on top. Not not actual cinnamon, but some kind of nutmeg. Or... Powdered stuff. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah, opened up a lot lighter now. Actually, you can put a, a little bit more in this time. I think you can take Cause it. Because I've still got a reasonable amount there. Mm. And yeah, I really want to cut that ABV back a bit more and see what it does. Yep. Um, yeah, I'm getting a lot more vanilla. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Yeah. So that vanilla custard. There's still a tiny bit of citrus on it for me. Yeah. Like zesty citrus. Yep. So I'm thinking like maybe a lemon custard tart. Is that a thing? Oh. Or am I just thinking that up? No, oh, that's a thing. Oh, I like that. Yeah. 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 I think you've hit that. Because you get that like... That creaminess of like a buttery pastry as well. And yeah, it's, it's just like a shortbread type there. pastry yeah. base. It's got that vanilla, mm. the custard. Because, yeah, your vanilla's in the custard. So, mm. oh, yeah, that's that's on the tea, I think. Mm. Now I just want tarts. Mm. That's a lot sweeter. Mm. ABV... It's not spiky at all now. It's a lot sweeter on the palate, more rounded. God, that's smooth for 46 with a tiny bit of water. Yeah, it really is, isn't it? Because four drops. Even without the water, that's mm. bloody smooth for a 46. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe I'm just getting better at dealing with alcohol. No, I think certain whiskeys hide it pretty well. Yeah, practice yeah. makes perfect. It does. It does help. I've been doing a lot of practice lately. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, that, that is a nice drop. Mm. But yeah, that... It's, yeah, because it's softened more, there's, yeah, that vanilla custard, but there's still like that lemon well, zest there at the mm, same mm. time. And I think a lot of the, the whole custard side of it also comes from the fact it's so silky smooth. Like, mm. it, it coats the mouth and you it's have that full, flavor. It's a full yeah. mouthfeel. Yeah. You have that flavour that hangs around for a good 30 seconds after each dram. Yeah, yeah. And, and the... Sip. the Not dram. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> the, the tail finish, and, like, you can get that hint of a little bit of oak in there, and mm. it just, just carries on, but there's that under, um, over the top of the underlying oak is that still got that little bit of sweetness that just carries on, as you say, mm. it coats. Mm. Mm. It's quite... Well, I wouldn't call it the most of it viscous. No, it's not very viscous, but it's just enough to coat the mouth. Yeah. It's not a thin feel and it's not thick, it's just a good all-round mouthfeel, I reckon. Mm. It does have some small legs. It's bloody nice. Mm. So, overall thoughts, boys? Tasty. <laughs> <laughs> I'm guessing um, good value for money. I don't know how much it actually goes for. I can't remember. I think it's about the 120 mark. Actually, I think it is. Yeah, yeah. 110, 120. I think yeah. it is around that. Say, I have no idea, but that's what I was thinking. Mm. Mm. I, was just I mean, it's, it's more a case of that is I would very happily pay 120 bucks for that. Yeah, I think that's exactly what I paid. I mean, I've already killed one bottle. This is my second bottle. I've got another one, and I've got a couple of the 15. Any other thoughts? <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. You're good? I'm good. <laughs> Um, he hasn't noticed, but the bottle behind him is already gone. <laughs> <laughs> it's empty box. Um, yeah, so what would you give it out of 10? Solid 9.2. Solid 9.2? Yeah, I was thinking 9. Flat 9. Flat 9? Mm. Mm. I'm pretty partial to this, so I'm going to go 9.6. 46%, non chill filtered, non coloured, that ticks all the boxes, age statement. Great all around experience. And you can and that, experiment with the water. That soft, creamy sweetness. Yep. Mm. Great presentation. Billy Walker. 
Yep, 9.6 for me. Right, so there we go. So, yeah. All around. We're, uh, all, we're all in the nines. It's we're a, all happy. We all like it. We'd all happily pay the price that they're asking for it. Yep, it's an all so around. No great. questions asked. Solid dram. And I'm looking forward and to. It's, that stuff there it's a out. border. No, no. For me, that's even even just the twelve. That's a, that's a borderline special occasion whiskey because mm. it's really pleasant. Yeah, and like it for its price, that is a very good value for money special yeah. occasion whiskey. And it's not a it's not a huge price that you would have objections sharing it. Mm. No, you can bring that this one out with the boys and have a couple of drams each, and yeah. you're just you're good. Yep. I mean, I do remember when I had my first bottle of this. It went too quickly because I was like, oh. I want another drop of that Glen Allegheny. <laughs> <laughs> and then the next night, I feel like a dram. Oh, it's some of that Glen Allegheny. Yeah. yeah, it's a very mulish. And uh, Ralphie, a couple of years back, this was his whiskey of the year. And I think the uh, sh shops got emptied a little bit after he did his whiskey of the year review, as they would. Just a little bit. Yeah. So, yeah, if you haven't tried Glen Allegheny, I would definitely recommend get down to your local bottle shop and grab a bottle and look out for the other stuff that's coming out. It's quite interesting what they're going to be bringing out. So, till next time, have, have a, a good, good one! one. chimed in with, I don't know, but my old mate Glenn and his Allen keys over there. <laughs> <laughs> it's Yeah, it's nice and round and full in the mouthfeel. Yeah.